name is Zoe. I am the Tipsy Psychic and today I am going to do a video compatibility video on the cusp of Leo and Virgo and Virgo. Expect a lot of emotional ups and downs, a lot. Much of your time together is spent evaluating the world around you and coming up with new ideas. Neither one of you can deny that there is a connection between the two of you. You both have a lot to offer each other and you see what an asset you both are. You naturally just get very close to each other. Work on being less skeptical of everything. Sometimes you need to have a little faith. Relax if you want things to work out. Being uptight won't get you anywhere. So. Take a chill pill, seriously, chill out. You must find the equilibrium between your heart and your mind. If your feelings aren't on the same levels as your mentality, then things will be really difficult. You know you can depend on your Virgo. Being together reveals the fragility of things. You aren't a solid couple. In fact, being together brings out a lot of vulnerability and stress. A major reason for this is that your relationship isn't grounded in reality. It's almost like a mental construct. So trying to ground yourselves and trying to take a pragmatic approach might help fix the problem. You need to be able to talk to your loved ones about your feelings and concerns. Often you both suppress your emotions and that is extremely unhealthy for you and your relationship. So talking about it with someone is important and it doesn't have to be your Virgo. Being with a Virgo would feel cozy. When you're around your Virgo, it may feel like you both are all over the place. You do that to each other and it will take a lot of effort to keep things leveled. You both share a philosophical code that keeps the relationship going. And without it, you wouldn't be connected. However, as you both change and grow, it may need to be changed too. And if you both rely on it too much and you don't review it, it won't be good for your relationship, okay? It's like those archaic laws that still exist nowadays, like not allowing people to practice astrology or um, do psychic readings, but they haven't really looked into like removing it in some places. That's how your philosophies are. They morph over time and you need to decide whether you can rely on the old ones. You have a very emotionally driven love after all. And while you both were very focused as single people, like mentally focused, it may feel like your emotions are a variable that fights to take control. And that is why you need balance and you need to be less insecure. Work on it if you want to be with your Virgo. You must be more sure of yourself around them. Your mind has been your best buddy for a while. And now, dating a Virgo with all the crazy feelings that come with it can feel really stressful sometimes. So in order to find a balance, you must start with managing your feelings. Start putting those first instead of your thoughts. And things should naturally balance out. A major mistake that Leo Virgo cuspers make is that they treat their thoughts with the same importance as their feelings, but the two are not equal. And if you want to even it out, you have to put your heart first here. This can be counterintuitive at times. Don't separate yourself from the rest of the world. It can be so easy to seclude yourself with your Virgo because you spend so much alone time with them. You need a partner with passion. Someone who will ignite the flame within your heart. And frankly, a Virgo may lack the spark you need. The plus side to being with a Virgo is that despite creating a very unstable dynamic, it also allows you to explore new feelings that you have never experienced before. 
You both have a tendency to bottle up your feelings. And you make that impossible for each other in this relationship. That is powerful. You need to understand that everything that you want is right there in front of you. And together, you can obtain it! So even though it can seem like a great idea to go chasing your big dreams that no one feels like you can accomplish, you'll soon realize that you don't need to jump that high to get what you want. And together, it may feel more comfortable sticking to your comfort zones. It's not uncommon for you to see your Virgo as someone you worship. You might put them on a pedestal. You devote yourself to their cause, maybe. There will be many obstacles that will try to get in the way of your happiness as a couple, but you must remember not to let them get to you. Don't lose hope. Have faith in your Virgo and what you both share. No matter what happens, don't stop trying. When you first start dating, you might both be very enthusiastic about doing the things you've always wanted to do but never got a chance to. And you may set unattainable goals to keep you motivated. But as time goes on, you realize that what you have in your lives right now is really just what you need. And you don't need to experience a miracle. This can bite you in the ass later though because part of your spark was initially built on doing things that you never thought you were capable of doing and your relationship can start to take a hit and then lose that excitement. Your Virgo would inspire you and you would really look up to them. You follow them. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to do the impossible and having big goals, but remember to stay centered. Use your logic. However, it's good to use lists, like make lists to organize things and plan things, but don't like, don't let it tamper with your imagination. You know what I mean? Sometimes we, when we are too organized and we box things up, then it sort of fucks with our creativity and our imagination. We kind of just need to be a little wild. So keep that in mind. Don't, don't go all anal, you know? And you must be yourself independent of your Virgo. It can be easy to take on their ideas and their philosophies and not develop your own. Stay true to yourself. It might be more successful to have a relationship with a Virgo later on in life. The older you are, the better your relationship will be. You need to both do some adulting before being with each other. Therapy, like couples therapy might help you both. Marriage usually isn't a great idea for this match. Love just is not easy for you and your Virgo. Your Virgo might take on a more like guiding role in this relationship. They are the teacher, you are the student. It's good to explore your emotions, but remember you must be balanced. Balance is everything. I was watching the Karate Kid or Cobra Kai or whatever. It's a great show by the way, and it's great movies if you haven't seen the franchise. But um, yeah, it's all about Balance, that's what Mr. Miyagi says, so I say so too. Although, I gotta say, he did not come up with that, okay? <laughs> it can be easy for you to fall into a rut while dating a Virgo, but you must not let things be too predictable, okay? Don't lose yourself in your Virgo. Be an individual, always. Okay. If you've recently been in a relationship with someone who wasn't very reliable, then being in a relationship with a Virgo might feel easier after that and it might feel more refreshing in contrast. You both may need to rely on your spirituality to navigate this relationship. It might be a really good idea to develop a spiritual practice that can just be like meditation, yoga, and it may feel like your Virgo is harder to decipher. You aren't good at making yourself available to their love either. And so getting to a point where you can love each other fully is a challenge. Neither one of you fully opens up. Your Virgo is often like a role model to you. You learn a lot from them. If you're in the same field, then you most likely respect their opinion and input. Healthy competition can be very important for you as friends, 
friendship between you and a Virgo would likely last a very long time because of how well you get along as friends. You don't need words to communicate. Your emotions are how you understand each other. Emotional intelligence is often a very important factor of this match. Expect marriage between these two signs to face obstacle after obstacle. It is not good. Now your sex life together can be very energetic and awesome, but it will never reach that profound level of passion that you often seek in relationships. Sex will be awesome though, so you might be really sexually compatible, which is nice. Virgo is usually the one who is in charge in this relationship, and you're usually fine with that dynamic. As friends, you often partake in physical activities together, such as sports, dancing, running, gym buddies maybe, like maybe you both go to the gym together, or you met at the gym, or even just like watching sports, like game night, you know, uh, football, I don't know. Maybe you play tennis together once a week or something. <laughs> But if you're not doing that, then just think about it. Physical activities are a great way for you both to bond and be friends and spend time together. You both know how to kick back and have fun and not let all the shit in your life dictate how you feel and take over. No. You don't let it weigh you down. You know how to take a breather and relax when you need to. That's important. You know how to laugh about the things that suck. You might both like satire or sarcasm as friends. And you know how to laugh at yourselves, which is a skill. Your sense of humors line up. Goofing off together is always fun. You both would enjoy arcade night or video game night or board game night. Hey, maybe building a giant puzzle would be fun. You might like scavenger hunts or geocaching. You might enjoy paintball battles or a laser tag, you know? When you put your thinking caps together, anything is possible, anything. You don't need to say how you feel because your feelings speak for themselves. And sometimes it's a relief to not have to put everything into words. You both are experiencing all these feelings and you don't really know what they all are all the time, at, at first at least. It can cause some tension with your Virgo in the beginning. Now, friendships with a Virgo uh, might revolve a lot around sports. Often you meet as athletes or through working out. When you both enter a romantic relationship together, you tend to spend a lot of time with each other and you can wall yourselves off from the rest of the world. You might forget your friends or family. Now, I know a lot of this sounds terrible, but I do gotta say it can get better later on if you're willing to go through all that. Often you meet and you have all these issues in the beginning of the relationship. All the challenges that this couple faces is at the beginning of the relationship most of the time. But as time goes on over the years, it can change and be stronger than ever. The problem is that it usually isn't worthwhile to stick through all the shit, all the struggles and the ups and downs. Most of the time, this duo falls apart before anything amazing can happen. It's just really hard. So if you can stick through the hard times, then try. But it can take years of that. It does get better most of the time though. If you really love each other and you put up with all the emotional instability and the roller coaster rides, then you just may find your happy ending. But you also have to ask yourself if it is worth going for so long in an unstable way. Be careful not to overextend yourselves. The good news is there is structure that you can lean on a little bit in your relationship. While you often let your emotions speak for themselves, you both share a love for words and talking and you can bond over that. You might enjoy linguistics um, if you both speak another language. This is like, language is not usually a barrier for you. You might speak different languages with each other. Once you get a hold of your emotions and you understand them more, your relationship will strengthen. 
and you will be able to see eye to eye more. Things might get a little easier then. You both have an idealistic attitude towards things, but unfortunately you must be careful not to let your mental abilities direct things. Remember, the heart comes first. The head will find balance that way. When you are deep into the relationship, sometimes spirituality becomes much more important and your bodies and your souls are very connected. You must stick by each other through the ups and downs if you want things to work. There is an apathetic side to this match and it appears when you ignore the heart and you just listen to your mind. Just trust that there is a structure in place that can handle the emotions. Trust that it will be there when you are listening to your heart, when you're trusting your heart. Isolation can be very unhealthy, but it is nice how much you learn from each other. The relationship is always progressing even when it seems weak. You both are close, but you take your emotions out on each other. Anxiety can be a challenge. However, your emotional ups and downs that's what makes you evolve, you know, it keeps you growing. You must be careful not to be overcritical of each other. Remember that feelings are not the enemy. Feelings are a good thing. Emotions are behind everything that you do for each other, but there isn't, there isn't much that is very special about this match. It's not super like miraculous and beautiful and great, okay? It certainly cannot compare or compete with any of the other relationships in the Zodiac or at least the strong ones. Like, it's just not there, okay? It's just not usually very memorable and once it's over, it's pretty easy to forget. You know, if you have dated each other before, then you're probably thinking, oh, oh yeah, I did date that person. What happened? Hmm? You know, I don't know. You guys might disagree with me and that is why I want you to comment below and like let me know what you think. Um, if you are a Virgo or are you a Leo Virgo cusp, please comment below and let me know what you think. I wanna hear your stories. I want you to tell me if you freaking hate what I wrote and it was like, or have said and it was just terrible. Um, I want you to tell me what you thought was true. I would love, I love hearing from you guys. So even if I don't answer right away, I will get back to you if I find it productive to do so. And um, yeah, I just can't wait. Subscribe to my channel, please and thank you. Toodaloo.